All right, so Adam is still working on some spots. We got it uh, rinsed off. Hopefully we'll get some paint on today, but while we're waiting on that, I figured I'd come up and show you the cockpit. What's going on, people? Man, well, it's been a long, long winter. As you guys remember, last year I bought my first boat, SV Artemis. 1985 Catalina 30 tall rig. It's been a long, long winter with a lot of boat projects, but man, did we have some fun. Anyway, it's time to start enjoying the water. Now, don't worry, we're not going to lose focus on this channel. I just want to tell you that it's time for season three, time to start moving forward with a lot more fun on the water. But we do still have a ton of boat projects coming at you. So if you're new to sailing or want to just follow me on my adventures, I implore you to smash that like and subscribe. And man, I hope you guys really enjoy these videos. What's going on? All right, we're back here at the Pearson again today. Uh, we got my man working on a little bit of glue that is left. Um, he's using scotch Bright, which I thought was actually kind of ingenious because it's actually giving us the scuff that we need instead of having to sand the whole thing. We're only going to have to do a couple of little, little spots. But um, yeah, she's in great shape now. We're ready for some uh, barrier coat, and we're hoping to get that first batch on today. Uh, we found the prop, or I shouldn't say we, I haven't found the prop. Nice little three blade. The cutlass is good, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and tape everything off right now. And then, while well, he's finishing that, then we're going to go over it with a quick little uh, wipe and then get some barrier coat uh, mixed up and ready to go. So, pretty exciting. She's coming back to life, people. All right, so Adam got all the glue off this side. I got the tape line on, and then we just took, just to be precautious, uh, not this side, this side, we just went over it with 80 grit to scratch her up and uh, get it ready to apply some barrier coat. But I'm just getting a little bit of more glue off there. She's already looking much better with the paint, with the, just the tape on it. So hopefully once we get the barrier on, it's gonna really start taking shape here. But yeah, quick, uh, quick scuff, give it a quick rinse, and then uh, wait for it to dry, and then good to go. Adam is still working on some spots. We got it uh, rinsed off. Hopefully we'll get some paint on today, but while we're waiting on that, I figured I'd come up and show you the cockpit. So, uh, here we go. It's, uh, it's pretty neglected, obviously, but the cool thing is these lazarettes are enormous. So we got a battery tray, through holes, obviously the engine you can see. Here's the scuppers, this one's decent, but you can get, you can get down in here. This is the fuel tank that we're going to have to replace. Fuel filter, exhaust hoses, I mean there's a lot of work to do in here, but it shouldn't be too bad. It looks like a battery charger. Um, bulkheads are in decent shape back here so that's that that's that's the port lazarette and you got the starboard lazarette and in here obviously coolant hot water heater which I'm sure doesn't work but that's all good aqualift muffler um, your blower but again you can you can get down in here and, uh, and do the work not a big deal pretty neat Motor mounts are decent. And then, by the way, the cockpit's enormous. It's quite large. Then we have our app lazarette, which, as you can tell, sorry, is just for propane tanks, which are MIA, so we're gonna have to get a couple. So we'll get those in there, and then his whole solenoid system we'll have to check. Not half bad. Um, looks like an Edson pedestal, but we'll have a gander at it. And let me show you the inside. One other thing is we don't know if any of this stuff works. I'm sure it doesn't. And then here's our West Brake controls, oil pressure, RPM, yada yada. Don't know if that works yet either. So through the companion way we go, I figured this would be a good time to do it because you could see it before and then after.
after. So true to Pearson form, you've got some steep stairs that go down. And we're gonna have our galley right here. As you can see, there's just a ton of stuff in here. But here's our sink, battery switch, what looks to be some dry storage. And we have our refrigerator, which is also missing a piece. Um, sink back there, stove, oven. There is no quarter berth, um, but we did a nice little nav station, a little chair built in, which is nice. Again, we've got a good access to the engine, um, which we do know runs. We have a slew of sails and stuff, some cushions, and I'm going to go ahead and walk over this, and then I'll start this right back up. All right, now that I'm through all that, goodness, uh, we've got a settee here and there, um, some storage. Looks like this could almost now. Nah, it's gonna be more storage, maybe a berth. I'd have to wait till this is done. Looks like you probably get someone up in there. Uh, we could definitely get someone here. We move forward, we got our bilge, our mass step, which will come down. Some cottage cheese containers. We got some storage back here, a little closet. The head, decent size with a shower. Um, so that's not so bad. Then we got. Our forward berth which is what it is um, there is a spreader right there which is good news you can see it so we know that's there so it's definitely got a leak in here because there's a lot of water we've got our stanchions right here um, but yeah we got to go through all this to find everything we need to uh, to get this going but that's a little scary that there's only one spreader so we're gonna find the other spreader but I mean, unlike the Catalina, she, she is a little tight, and there's no denying that. But, I mean, it's all here. So this isn't, this is, really isn't half bad. This is going to be kind of a cool project. And um, that spreader's got me nervous. But once we find that, we'll be, we'll be in great shape. If not, he's going to buy one. I don't know where he's going to find one for this rig. But yeah, pretty neat. It looks like we got a little table here that will come out. Maybe this all becomes a, a bed. I don't know yet. It's too dirty for me to tell. But definitely a nice size boat. Not mad at that. And when you're not using a ladder, you can take it out. It's got a radio. I don't see any ship to shore stuff on here. But yeah, fun times. Well, these are neat. Like that. So I think the cool thing here is going to be really when this is cleaned up and done. We just don't have stuff everywhere. I think that's going to be the moment when it's like, aha, yeah, he's got a nice boat. I and mean, there's just so much junk in here. But. Pretty damn exciting. All right, let's show you the uh, the work downstairs now. Let's get back to that. While I'm up here, one other thing I like is the side of the, the channels. These runners are huge, so you can really walk around the boat with no issue. Um, hatches look like they need a little bit of work. The teak definitely needs some work, but once the lifelines are up, we'll start getting up there. I'm, uh, I'm not a big heights guy, even though I do jump from high stuff. But all right, I'm gonna go down a ladder and we're getting back to work. So besides forgetting my respirator today, ugh, how barrier coat sucks. Look at the difference. This is two coats on the starboard side, but now you get all that blistering or the repair work covered. It's like a whole new boat already. Wait till she's black. It's gonna be just perfect. Perfect, perfect. And if you remember, just a quick contrast because we didn't do this side yet. This is what it looked like. Just a hodgepodge of blister repair. So that is, uh, that came out real nice. So once we get the black on, we'll be in good shape. But yeah, 
not bad. We are out of uh, daylight and lung capacity after inhaling that for, well, thank God we're outdoors. It's really not that bad, but stuff's pretty gnarly. But yeah, we're good to go. So Pearson's coming back to life. All right, so next on this Pearson, this will be a quick video for next week. I'm hoping to sail this weekend. And I know you guys aren't really into that content, but next for the Pearson will be the other side will get barriered. While that side is hardening up, we're gonna mix up again some of the Rust-Oleum bottom paint that we have. And we're gonna get this side painted black. Um, then we'll finish, well after, we, so again, we'll finish the other side, the barrier coat. While that's hardening, we'll finish this side with the black, then get that side done. And then the bottom job is complete. All we have to do now is get um, a little bit of hardware. We need to get a through hull, which you now can't see because we had taped over it. Uh, we need to get a strut nut I like that. We're gonna have to find his hardware for his prop. Um, noticing here we have a couple threads missing, so this may be a little of an issue, but I think we have enough bite to at least get the first nut on and the second one tightened, and then we can get the um, the cotter pin through. I think we're gonna be okay. Um, so really that's all that's left for the outside on the bottom. As far as his bootstrap goes, we're still deciding what we're gonna do there, or he's still deciding on what he wants to do there. And I'm sure it'll come out nice either way. But yeah, this has definitely moved along. And um, that'll be for the next week after. You'll see us finish the other side, and then the bottom paint go on. And uh, bam, might even splash her to check for leaks. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hit that like and subscribe, and say goodbye to Adam for this week. Bye, Adam. Ciao.